What is up guys, uh, this is Blur and I'm back with episode 3 of my map 3 walkthrough. So I've just finished... Yeah, I'm just... Always gotta get you out of trouble, don't I? You old? I am. How'd it go with Baka? Well, we came to an understanding. He stayed dead and I let him. Let's get back to Sammy's. I can't even tell you how happy Pops is gonna be. And this shit with the Haitians has been weighing on him. With them out the way? Things will calm down. Go back to the way they should be. Been telling him for months we needed to do something like this, but Pops, he... I don't know. Sometimes I think he's lost the taste for this shit. Just because a man don't rush to violence don't mean he lost something. I know, just makes me wonder what happens after, you know? No, I don't know. Explain it to me. Don't matter if it's a bullet or the hand of God. We all go sometime, right? I suppose. But Ellis, we don't need to talk about... I pray that Pops outlives the both of us. But if he doesn't, every motherfucker in the hollow is gonna be looking to us or gunning for us. Just saying we gotta be ready when that day comes. Yeah, well that's not something we gotta worry about right now. So just cool it with your grand plans, all right? Yeah, all right. All right, so yeah, I'm uh, now uh, making my way back. So I'm just continuing from uh, the last game, um, last video, where we just saw Cassandra and uh, we we were going stealthy. I don't know if, uh, what the hell? Where is this taking me? Is that me being stupid or the game actually trying to take me that way? No, me being stupid. That's fucking usual. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so we're making our way back now. Uh oh, last minute telling me to turn right. <sighs> But, um, I've actually chucked on my uh, GPU overclock to see if that improves things. So, yeah, let's see. Uh, so, I'm just going to go into the garage now. I haven't actually played this part from now on. I haven't played it. So, let's see. The Bang Lankin didn't understand. Or maybe want to understand is that for a man like Sammy, there's always going to be more Haitians. Now, if there wasn't someone going after Sammy, then there was someone else forcing him into a bad situation. It was never going to end. That's how Lincoln ended up working for Sal Marcano. You were right about those Haitians being down by that old salt mine. It won't be bothering us again. It was a mistake sending you down there. I should handle my own business. This isn't any different than what I was doing before I left. You probably don't know this. But every night on the TV, right after the news, they show the names of all the boys killed over there in Vietnam. I'd be sitting in the kitchen eating my supper. Watching that list scroll by, wondering if today is the day. I finally see your name. But you never did. Nothing happened to me. There's only so much luck down the web. Sooner or later, pull up that bucket, there's nothing in it. So, what are we gonna do about Marcano? Damn, he's got that money one way or the other. Lottery gonna be enough to cover it? The lottery? <laughs> no. But Sal called a bit ago. Wants you to meet him up the country club. Says he's got something in the works. Square things up between us. The only black folk allowed in there to help. Now, they may not like it, but they're not gonna say no to Sal Marcano. He says you get to come in, you get to come in. Fine. Always did want to see the inside of that place. You need to do whatever Sal asks, yeah? For all our sakes. Yes, sir. All right, okay.
Right, let's drive to the Yacht Club. That sounds really fucking weird. <laughs> the Yacht Club. So far, the game seems to be running a bit better whilst recording. Now, it really annoys me that as soon as I press record, it gets so bad. I don't know what sort of thing the police get you for now. I know, if you remember, it used to be uh, Mafia 2, it's reckless driving and speeding. Uh, I've sped past quite a few police cars on here, and they've not done anything. So... I'm not too sure what the police get you for on this one. Oh, I'm gonna look that up and I'll get back to you on that one. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit, by the looks of things, I was meant to go on the top bit, look at the map, Oh crap. I can't be asked to turn around and go back. Oh, but now it's above me. A little confused. Is that just the traffic going the opposite direction? It's coming down now, so it's the same road. Yeah, it's just the other side of the road. Oh, okay. <coughs> Jump! Just looking at cars. Alright. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so right here. Talk to the security. The fuck you doing up here? Help goes into the back. I'm uh I'm here to see Mr. Marcano. The name's Lincoln Clay. That a fact? I'll be goddamned. Mind your manners while you're in there, boy. Or there'll be hell to pay, you hear? Park over to the side. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Lincoln Clay! Christ, man, get a look at you! I let those fucking gooks shit themselves when they saw you coming. Been a long time, Georgie. Oh, no shit, it's been a long time. I think the last time I saw you was that night over in the French Ward, right before you shipped out. <laughs> Damn, but that wasn't a gas. Oh, I seem to remember me and Ellis running from the cops, uh, and Danny ending up in the drunk tank. Hell, man, I bailed him out. Besides, just worth it to knock the hell out of them cracker assholes. <laughs> Smoke? Sure. <laughs> oh, man. Sammy said Mr. Marcano wanted to see me. Mr. Marcano? Shit. Make him sound like a goddamn lawyer. She literally just oh, grabbed her bag and pulled it out of the way. Oh, he's in the back. Wow. <laughs> I should have wore something else. Hey, these squares have a problem with Joe Trez. Take it up a mild man. He'll tell him to kiss his ass. <laughs> nice thing about having fuck you money. Olivia, I hate to cut this short, darling, but I've got a meeting coming up. Remy, a pleasure as always, sir. Two more glasses. <laughs> Lincoln, good to see you. This is Vito Scaletta. He's the one I've been telling you about. Come on, Lincoln, sit down. So you served in Vietnam, huh? Yes, sir. Sal tells me uh, you earned a few pieces of tin over there. Well, I served with some good men. Nothing I did would have happened without them. Army? Marines? Regular army at first, and then I was recruited to the 5th SFG. Special Forces. I told you it was something else. 
Now, not that anything's gonna go wrong, but just in case, goddamn, don't you want a man like that on your side? Well, if you're vouching for him, Sal, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Look, I got a couple things to take care of. Thanks for the drink. Vito Scaletta. Christ, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> Fucking carpetbagger. Commission sent him down here from Empire Bay about 15 years back. He's been a pain in my goddamn ass ever since. Well, I guess you're wondering what this is all about. Yeah, Sammy didn't tell me too much. Twice a year, the Feds take old money out of circulation and destroy it. Over the course of the next few days, that money's gonna be delivered here to the reserve in town. And you're gonna hit one of those shipments? <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. We are gonna use that occasion to gain access to their vault. And then steal everything that ain't nailed down. <laughs> Should be six, seven million in there, easy. That's, that's pretty fucking ballsy. <laughs> it's a chance of a goddamn lifetime is what it is. Now, Vito's fronting a lot of the money for the job, and he got us the combination to the vault. Have you had a chance to see Danny? No, not yet. Oh, well, you will. We brought him and his old man in on this, and they're gonna need your help, so go see them. They ain't still in that same place. There's something else we got to talk about. Now, it's safe to assume you know about the problem Sammy's been having. I took care of the Haitians. Once things settle down, money will start coming in again. You see that right there? That's what I'm talking about. You didn't sit around with your thumb jammed in your ass. You saw a problem, you went out and took care of it. God damn, I take that over money any day of the week. We pay our own way, debts and all. Always have. Oh, hell, son, I know that. I wouldn't expect otherwise. But you know, even after we all evened up, you're still gonna be slopping around in the ass end of this city. Not much of a future in that. But maybe there's a different way forward, you understand? For all of us. What'd you have in mind? I want you to know I mean no disrespect when I say this. Sammy's a hell of a man. But he's not getting any younger. And I'm thinking it's time to make a change. Well, I don't think that Ellis is ready for that kind I'm not of talking about Ellis. I'm talking about you. I want you to run the holler. <laughs> I can't do that. Well, look here. If you're worried about Sammy, don't you understand? Now, he's always been on the level with me. And this job we're talking about, there's more than enough for him to retire on. He took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Treated me like a son. I'm sorry, Mr. Marcano. I, I can't do that to him. Well, shit, son. I'd be lying if I didn't say I wasn't just a little disappointed. But I get it. You're loyal. Which is something that is scarce these days. Do you still want me to help with this thing we've been talking about? <laughs> you goddamn right I do! <laughs> and when it's all done, you all be more than square with me. You have my word. <laughs> what do you really want to hear? That we kidnap and torture anyone suspected of working with the VC? I'm trying to ascertain the level of training that Lincoln Clay received during his time in Vietnam. Someone like that you don't need to train. You point them in the right direction and get the fuck out of their way. And we're back here. Stay cool. We'll get through this. Press I. It's a bit out of the way. Got him. Suspects on the move. Ready. Need to get behind something. Take it in there. Through. 
I'm gonna have more. Yeah, we good. Where's Danny? He's pushing everything off the side so that we have room to catch the money. All right, well, once you square the way up here, we start driving it down. We'll make it quick. Motherfuckers killed the lights. Just worry about the money. I'll deal with this. It just tapped me out. Oh, Jesus. Uh, are we still recording yet? Okay. It just tapped me out for some reason. Uh, I can't see anything up on my other screen. I don't know what it was. They're trying to flush us out. Stay focused on what you're doing. Oh shit! No, 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 get up. Ah. That's okay, that's okay. <laughs> we can go again. <laughs> ah, lucky like that's not real life. I'll be so dead. We make a break for it. Tell Danny he needs to get us out of here. And these bastards got us pinned down. Y'all need to figure something out. I got some TNT. I'll put on our side of the hole and detonate it. What the fuck is that gonna accomplish? With any luck, it'll blow a hole big enough for y'all to drop down. With any luck, Danny, do you even know what the fuck you're doing? Come on, it's dynamite. How complicated could it be? It's lit. Get the fuck away from the hole. Fuck that! Oh, got a pink flushing. Uh, well, we got the whole vault of us now if we want to pick up some more money. I'm trying! Danny's leg is pinned! I need your help! No one really knows why Sal Marcano turned on Thomas Burke. But he took Point Verdun from him and gave it to an enforcer named Roman the Butcher Barbieri, who promptly busted up one of Burke's legs. Now, Danny Burke was part of the heist crew. I mean, he was a gearhead, had never done anything like this before. But Thomas Burke insisted. He figured if the heist was a success, Sal would forgive him and return Point Verdun. Trainer, all right. <laughs> hey, now I heard there ain't nothing sweeter than Vietnamese pussy. You tell me it's true. 
Casanova Clay. Shit, man, it's so fucking good to see you. You too, Danny. That's Nikki. God, she wanted to be here, but I ain't remember how old it was. God damn, you take that shit. Yeah, unfortunately. Come on, let's grab a beer. Wait for the old man to chill out, and then we can get down to it. Yeah. What's up, man? I already got it all set up and organized. All the girls gonna be there and everything, except we just gotta go in my cars because we can't roll up in that beat-up piece of shit outside. <laughs> oh, you didn't just call my all-American machine a beat -up. I'm just saying, there better rides out there. Hey, bullshit there are. It's cause a beast. I thought the custom 358 and the four shipped out. That ain't the only thing you dropped in there. Maybe you should tell them about how you'd borrow it from Ellis and take the ladies <laughs> for a ride. Hell, man, leave me out of this. Wait, you fucking my car? Mm -hmm. Nah, it ain't no big deal. I was always wrapped up tight. <laughs> Besides, I already got one fucking bass in my life. I don't need another one. All right, you know what? You're going to clean. Not just the back oh. seat. Every square inch. <laughs> I don't need to be riding around sitting in your shit. Hey, and you, funny man, you want fucking help? Like, hell I am, shit, I didn't get any. Yeah, well, it was just no. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking jokers got about as much chance of pulling this off as I do at winning a goddamn decathlon. Oh, all right, Doc, we hear you. <laughs> Donnie and Ellis, you're gonna use the drills to cut a hole up through the bottom of the vault. You and Georgie, you'll be inside. You're gonna drop the money down, then get the hell out of there. That goddamn drill ain't easy to move, though. So we need a boat to get it through the canals and into position. Well, Ellis and I worry about the boat. See, George's old man flipped the guard to reserve, giving you his truck. <laughs> <laughs> Between that and the uniforms, and no one gonna give us a second look! <laughs> Come on, let's get moving. Still gotta swing by Skeletters and finish up some prep work. Hey, you two assholes, don't think this gets you off the hook when it comes to my car. Y'all best get ready to clean it. I ain't cleaning shit. Hey, you cleaning it. My father was a lot of things, few of them good. But he started out smuggling moonshine, so he knew about the canals underneath the city, and that one of them went right under the Federal Reserve. It was his idea to use a boat to move the drill into position. He was a real son of a bitch, my father. More than anyone else, I blame him for what happened. You want to stick your own neck out? Fine. But leave your son out of it. It's his fault Danny died. Fuck. Is everyone in? We need to go. We're all here. Go. What's all he right. think he's doing? I was going to end the episode there and then take this bit on from uh, the next episode but uh, by the looks of things so I'm going to carry this on now and it'll just be a longer episode uh, let's go for 30 minutes, so you usually go for 20 it's currently 24 or 23 something like that so yeah let's just go for 30 minutes uh, alright so I'll just go on, escape them now is it going to be as easy as fucking GTA escaping the cops Oh, shit, um, let me see, they just ran us over, there's a male outside of this tunnel, you don't fuck with George Marcano! I didn't mean to do that, I've just set myself alive. <laughs> This is a bit weird to control. Keep going, don't slow down. Uh, let's just go for it. Come on, we can make it. Come on. Just don't get shot. Come on. That's it. Just keep going, just don't blow up. Come on. Two hundred out. Are you out of your fucking mind? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Did I fucking do it? Did I do it? No way. I actually did it. <laughs> Everybody alright? That was the craziest fucking thing I've ever saw. Uh, I'm glad we're breathing and all. But what the hell are we gonna do now? Uh, only option is to head up. Are you kidding me? There'll be cops all over the place. Well, and any luck. They'll be too busy dealing with Mardi Gras. Notice us. Let's go. 
Damn it, this ain't a gas. Episode 2 is on um, 83% up, so that be up very soon. Oh, that's good. I'm trying to record as much as I can, as quick as I can, I'll upload it as quick as I can. Uh, and I'm actually... Uh, hold on. Get out there, I hit a payphone. Calls it a ride. Can you walk? Yeah, somebody give me a hand, I can get around. Uh, it's probably just gonna be easier to carry a sorry ass. Hold up, come here. Hey, hey, don't put me the fuck down! <laughs> if anybody asks, we say he's drunk. Y'all pick up that money. Let's go. Yeah, with all that blood coming out of his leg. <laughs> Right, yeah, so uh, I'm going to start another walkthrough series. I'm not sure what game. I really want to play Mafia 2, but I don't think that'll work at the same time as Mafia 3. <laughs> um, I might even do a GTA walkthrough. I know there's already a lot, but I quite like GTA 5, to be honest. I also want to do a San Andreas walkthrough at some point. I know it's really old, but it's possibly my favourite. Well, it is my favourite uh, GTA out of all of them. So I think I might do it. Friend in Jesus. Fuck you, pig. Hey man, get off the phone. Right fucking now. I was definitely controlling the manic one. Alright, okay, so let's I've just made my mic louder. <laughs> Let's call them. Where's some deep shit that need your help? Where are you? Just off the parade route. Danny's hurt. I can't get a car to you because the roads are closed off. Listen, there's a grocery store on the backside of the cemetery. Can you get over there? Yeah. There'll be a car waiting at the loading dock. And Lincoln, be careful, yeah? You and Ellie Sport. We will. Alright, okay. So I go get to the car. Sammy's having the car delivered. It'll be at the loading dock at the grocery store. God bless the old man. Let's go. Watch where you going. Alright, uh Oh <laughs> This chair's really uncomfortable. Saf I just look like a fish. What the hell is he stupid? They're really stupid, aren't they? Just fucking shouting. Lucky I don't leave your drunk ass in a ditch. No, God, don't fuck you, wasted. Stay in line. Hey, don't fuck your white man. It's alright, he ain't going alone. We all got a friend, Jesus. Amen. Alright, let's go. <laughs> hey! Over here! 
Damn. Damn. I do not know what just happened, but I fucking died. I've actually gone over 30 minutes. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end it there. Uh, I just died. Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Um, see you in the next episode, guys. We'll see you.